Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like it's been a hot minute since I have been able to really sit down and record a video and just kind of share with you guys what's been going on in my life. So I decided on today's video that I would pull a bunch of clips together. Some of these clips are old clips um, of just videos that I loved in my phone that I wanted to share with you all as I talk to y'all, give y'all some updates and just kind of share where I am currently in my life. So um, a few months ago, I gave birth to our third baby. Uh, we ended up having a baby girl and I will actually sit down. My plan is to sit down and really share with you guys my birth story, not only for her, but also for our second baby boy, um, because both experiences were very similar in the sense that I had complications at birth. Um, with my daughter, it resulted in her being in the NICU for almost two weeks, and I'll share more with you guys, but that definitely is something that I am continuing to heal from, continuing to grieve, um, grieving in the aspect of not having the experience that I had hoped for, um, and really learning how to trust the father in the midst of grieving and in the midst of things not really working out how you had planned or had anticipated um just really learning how to cleave to him and so i'll talk more about that later but in addition to that the father really has me on i guess what i would consider to be a self-discovery journey um i realized i just hit year 30 um at the beginning of last year. So I'll be 31 in March. So very soon around the corner. And I don't know if it's just time or um, maturity, but whatever it is, I'm at a place in my life where I'm really um, just wanting to really understand and really figure out who is Samantha. Um, and of course, I know that I'm a daughter of the Most High. I know that I'm a believer in Christ. I know that I'm a wife. I know that I'm a mother. I know that I'm all of these things as far as a title is concerned. Um, but I really want to get to the place where I'm more connected to who I am as a person. Um, and so that's what this journey has looked like for me. And so on this journey, I've kind of even taken a step back from social media and I've been doing a lot of reflection, a lot of journaling. Journaling is something that I had stopped doing for a while and it's something that I'm starting to do again. And in the midst of journaling, I'm learning a lot of stuff about myself. Um, I've really um, taken time to think a lot more about my childhood and different experiences, different traumas. Um, and how childhood experiences really have shaped who I am as an adult, whether that be the good, the bad, and the ugly, and really coming to terms with certain things about myself that I really don't like, um, that I'm not, I'm not happy about, and things that I want to change, and things that I'm in the process of changing. So a lot of really just tuning in with myself and my emotions and my feelings, really asking a lot of questions, right? Talking to myself and saying like, what happened there? Okay, you were offended. You were hurt. Why were you offended? Why were you so hurt? And really trying to make more connections and really understand where things are coming from. Um, one of the things I'm not currently doing right now is I'm not in therapy. We uh, moved about two years ago and um, I thought where we are currently was only going to be like a short term type of situation, but we've been here a little bit longer. And so I wish I had gotten into therapy just to really have this time to really um, have another tool to pour into myself. But um, we are moving soon in the coming months. Um, if you don't know, we are a military family. So with the next move, my plan is to get back into therapy. Um, I'm really hoping to connect with a therapist that really specializes in women's health, um, that specializes in neuroplasticity, um, which is basically the understanding around neuroscience that our brains um, are able to be rewired, right? If you've had certain experiences in life, if you've experienced certain traumas, if you have certain behaviors, um, patterns, thought patterns, belief systems that um, don't serve you, that you don't like, and you don't want to change, rather than saying like, this is just the way that I am, and I'm always going to be this way. Um, neuroscience and neuroplasticity is showing us that our brains are able to be rewired, like we're actually able to go back and rewire ourselves um, to really uh, be the person that we want to be, to live the way that we desire to live. Um, and so even just learning more about that and really learning the science because science really just proves the Bible, right? So I'm not taking away from scripture. Um, 
what the Lord has really been helping me do is understand like the natural aspect of what the scripture already tells us. And so I've been really digging into like science and um, or not science, but really just the science of the brain, I should say, really understanding the brain, understanding how trauma and experiences really impact the brain and how we can do the work even in our adulthood, right? Like it's never too late. We can do the work to change our lives and to be the person that we ultimately desire to be. Um, regardless of our situations, regardless of our um, circumstances. And so I've been doing a lot of inner work and learning and um, unlearning and relearning. Um, And it's been hard work, y'all. It has been hard work. A lot of just digging up like the deeper things and um, really having to come to terms with things that maybe I thought wasn't really a big deal. But in hindsight, or, you know, in having a better understanding and being more conscious about my thoughts, I'm realizing like, no, it does matter. These things do matter. Um, And so I'm just doing a lot of work, a lot of work on me so that I can be the best wife, so that I can be the best mother, so that I can be a better friend, so that I can be a better daughter, so I can just be a better person, right? Like the vision that I have for myself is not necessarily what I see right now. Um, And, you know, I I recently set out to do certain things. Um, I shared in a recent video that I set out to do the 75 hard challenge and y'all, Uh, your girl has been messing up on the challenge. The idea of the challenge is that you're supposed to do six things every day for 75 days. So if you've never heard of this challenge, I would definitely recommend looking it up. But more than it is a, a physical fitness challenge, it's a mental toughness challenge. And it has really revealed a lot of weaknesses. Um, that I have right like things that I would I like I knew was there but being on this challenge or attempting that challenge has really highlighted a lot of areas where I'm weak it really highlighted the the mindset that I have which is very much of a fixed mindset um I I quit really easy I, I've these are some of the things I've noticed on this challenge like I quit really easily um I give up really easily I doubt myself a lot I talk myself out of a lot of things um I have a lot of fear that I did not even realize was there and so this challenge has really brought that to the forefront and I plan to try again I'm going to complete that challenge by God's grace um I will complete that challenge um but you know just being in a place where I set out to do certain things like this challenge or other things and um I'm messing up I'm falling short and I'm not meeting the standard that I necessarily have for myself but one thing that I am reminding myself of in this season is that healing is not linear it is not a straight line there are ebbs and flows in life um you know there are days where you are going to feel high and on the mountain and there are days where you are going to feel like you are in a valley and i recently watched a video that i recorded um on social media and um it's titled um he is not your husband so you guys can go back and watch it it's on my YouTube channel as well. But there was a point in the video where I said, the same God that is with you on the mountaintop is the same God that is with you in the valley. And so I've had to remind myself of that recently. And I want to remind you guys of that as well, to know that he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Like he is with us. He is for us. And I've had to tell myself that Samantha, the most high is for you. He wants the best for you. His thoughts are to prosper you. His thoughts are to to give you a good and expected end. It's not to harm you. And so I am just being reminded of that in this season as I go after being the woman that I desire to be, the woman that I truly believe that I was created and called to be. um, I'm just reminding myself like he means well for me. In spite of what I see, in spite of the experiences that I have, um, I have to believe that the Father desires the best for me. And I genuinely believe that. I'm in a place where I finally believe that. And because I know that he has the best for me, it's, it's, it's pushing me and encouraging me to go after the best for myself, right? Like he's doing his part. But now I've got to do my part. I've got to be disciplined. I've got to be consistent. I really got to go for the things that I believe that he has for me. Me and my husband are going for the things that we believe that the father has for us. And no longer are we being overly concerned with what people have to say, what they think about us, or even, you know, the judgments that we have against ourselves. But we're really taking a chance on ourselves. We're betting on ourselves in this season. And I'm encouraging you to do the same. So I hope this video encourages you guys.